We have about an 85% success rate with getting people off of CPAP. That's today. Coming up. We have about an 85% success rate with getting people off of CPAP. In three minutes, the freight train is just gone. Welcome back. A restful night's sleep is essential to a healthy life, yet sleep apnea and snoring can make catching Zim seem like a pipe dream. But our next guest is making his mission to save your sleep. He's the director of the South Florida Sinus and Allergy Center. Otolaryngologist Dr. Lee Mandel joins us now from Florida. Dr. Mandel, welcome and thanks so much for being here. Give us the, uh, the 411 on sleep apnea. So sleep apnea, as a lot of people know, is basically obstruction when you're sleeping at night. It's obstruction of the upper airway. And what that causes is it can cause snoring when it's mild, but it can cause very severe what we call sleep apnea uh, at times. And when that happens, the oxygen saturation is actually dropping while you're sleeping at night. And when that oxygen saturation drops, it puts a lot of pressure on your cardiovascular system. It can cause a lot of issues. And Dr. Mandel, how can someone know if they are eligible for this new procedure? So the eligibility for the procedure really based, is based on how bad their issue is. Now, there are people that just have snoring, and you can do the procedure on snoring. It does work. But also what we do is something called the sleep study. What that sleep study tells us is they stop breathing when they're sleeping. Zero to five events per hour are normal. Five to 15 is mild. 15 to 30 is moderate. Over 30 is severe. So anywhere from the mild to the severe, will uh, this procedure will help. Well, Dr. Mandel, one of your eligible patients, Andy, has agreed to allow us to sit in and actually see him receive the procedure live today. How cool is that, Nita? I love that. So, Dr. Mandel, I know you can do this. I know you can operate and talk at the same time. So why don't you get started and take us through this process? I will do that right now. This particular patient, remember we spoke about how many times per hour someone has an event, a sleep apnea event. His events are 81.9 per hour. Wow. His lowest oxygen saturation is 53%. Whoa. Now, we don't want anyone below 90%. The interesting thing with this procedure is that uh, after about two weeks, we start seeing a, a significant improvement uh, in the symptoms. And take about eight weeks for the maximum effect to occur. But many times I'll find people that are about one week out um, and their spouse or their significant other is already telling me that there's a big difference in their sleep. Mm -hmm. The people that sleep next to yes. people that have these issues are losing about an hour of sleep a night just because of that. That's what it's, I was thinking about, that the person who has obstructive sleep apnea is tired. But look, let me tell you, there oh. are levels to it. There's like, you know, the gentle snoring, but some people sound like a freight train they, they shake the room I, yeah and that's, that's that when you wake up and your partner's no longer there <laughs> tell us exactly what, what what you're changing anatomically so right here we're going to address the palate the nose the palate and the back of the tongue or base and tongue can cause obstruction but here you see the edge normal edge of the palate is right here and right here and extending down from that are what we call palatal curtains this is the uvula, which is the dangly thing people see in the back of their throat. You can see it's longer and it's thicker. So we're going to go ahead and grab that uvula. We're going to pull it to the side, and we're going to make an incision in this palatal curtain. What kind of anesthesia are you working with? We're using intravenous anesthesia. So I have my anesthesiologist, and he's far excellent. Um, and he is giving some intravenous sedation, the same type of sedation that you would see when you were doing a, um, a colonoscopy uh, or that type of thing. So instant on, instant off intravenous anesthesia. So you can see I'm now going to make an incision in this uvula. So, Dr. Mandel, you're, you're removing that, that excess hanging part of the uvula, correct? I am. I am. And you can see I'm kind of teasing out some of this muscle here which is actually kind of an important part of this as well. Right. Bloodless. Beautiful. So that's that. Okay, so that, that's the hardest part of the procedure right there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use a contact diode laser. And what I do with the contact diode laser is I make a very controlled abrasion in the center of the palate. I developed this procedure myself, 
and I've been doing it for about seven years now. We have about an 85% success rate in terms of getting people off of CPAP, so they don't need to use it anymore. Um, works very well for snoring as well. You can see here, I'm going ahead and I'm passing this contact diode laser beneath the lining of the palate. And what that does is it creates what we call linear scars or straight line scars. And straight line scars, as they heal, they contract. So you can see I'm going all the way down here to the tip here of next to that resected uvula. And I'm just creating these straight line scars. So what, what those are doing are adding support and structure to that floppy soft palate. It's sort of you're creating uh, like shirt stays in your collar to keep that collar nice and stiff. The scar tissue acts as sort of a shirt stay and uh, keeps that, that palate firm, correct? This only takes about three minutes. We're done. So wow. the well, in three minutes, the freight train is just gone. Yeah. You mean to tell me? I mean, because honestly, I even You're family have members. You're gonna your bedmate back. I mean, even family members. I mean, God bless them. You go in for Christmas or something, and they're just snoring and snoring. You mean to tell me in three minutes I can remove all of that stress from my life? It is done. That's amazing. That is amazing. Okay, I'm gonna come back in front of the camera to talk to you guys again. So, do, how much discomfort is is Andy gonna have after this? So I always tell people, you know, you are going to get a, a, uh, a pretty significant sore throat afterwards. It's not as bad as having your tonsils out um, uh, by any stretch of the imagination, but it is uh, it's a significant enough sore throat uh, that you will uh, you'll, you'll feel it. Soft diet for a couple of weeks, uh, but more and more and more and more than well worth it. This is going to save a lot of marriages. I can't believe how excited you are about I'm this, dude. I guess, I guess you've got snorers around you there. Yeah, Doc, I huh? have some people that I want to introduce you to. Like, well, seriously. <laughs> Happy to meet you. That them. makes a good Christmas present. Well, anyways, Dr. Dr. Mandel, thank you so much. Uh, amazing stuff. Continued success. For more information on the minimally invasive palatal stiffening procedure, you can go to our website at thedoctorstv.com.